Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another brand new Android Studio tutorial and today in this video I will show you how to link the fragment that we created from the last tutorial with the navigation drawer so that if a navigation drawer item is selected it can show its corresponding fragment file. So let's jump into the Android Studio. So we have the Android Studio and we have the content main, main activity and we have from the last tutorial we have created the fragment one and two and corresponding to that activity we have also created its layout files. So today in this video we are going to just connect both of the items that is the fragment along with the navigation drawer. So as I have mentioned we have to just show the fragment layout files inside the content main itself so in this blank area it is going to replace by the fragment layout files so it is actually actually the fragment is going to work inside this content main itself so that actually the content main is not changing it is only the fragment changing inside this area so all we have to do is that we have to just bring the fragment inside this content main so that we have to just create another layer inside this relative layout maybe you have the constraint layout so if you have just replace it with the relative layout just here and here and then once that done all we have to do is simply create a frame layout i'm just creating a frame layout in order to fit the fragments inside this so frame layout and uh, closing it now just giving an id for the frame layout so that we can able to identify the frame layout inside the main activity so id then i just give it as okay so i just given the id as my frame layout and uh, here is a frame layout inside this relative layout which is inside this content main.xml file so all we have to do is just go to the main activity and inside that we have to just just create a new method that can able to identify the which of the item inside the navigation drawer is selected so in the navigation drawer you can see it will be look like something like this when you just open it and i just modified just now so we are just developing it as an example so i'm just going to remove this all these codes and we only need we we only actually we only have two fragments right now if you have three then you can just leave three i'm just going to remove the fourth one and the third one because we only have currently we have only two fragments so according to that i'm just leaving two so that i'm just keeping two items and deleting all other things you can also just move it from here and you can paste it without the group so that you can able to do like this so it's all up to you that if you want to just keep it inside the group with a group name or something like that. So although all you have to do is simply change the camera, I just want to give a different ID, maybe one. Like this, once that done, all you have to do is simply close that. And now what we have to do is we have to create a method. As I said before, we have to create a method that can able to catch which of the item is selected and show the fragment according to that. So I'm just going to create a new method over here private void so that it can't return any value or something like that so private void and i just want to name the method as display maybe what's that display display fragment so display fragment and once that done we have to just open these brackets and inside that we have to add int then id so we just want to create an ID integer type so that you can able to catch the ID of the selected navigation drawer item. Now open the curly braces and now we have to create a fragment. Fragment, I just want to give it a name as fragment itself equal to null. So what we have just done is that we just created a fragment with the name as fragment itself. So this is actually a fragment initialization, which means that now that currently the fragment is null. And now we have to just create switch to add more than one item. And the switch is going to recognize which, which of the navigation drawer item is selected. And it is going to replace this fragment according to that switch click. So anyway, we have to just create a switch. Inside the switch, we just add the ID so that it can recognize the ID and just open the curly braces. Now we have to add the cases. So I, currently I have two items inside the navigation drawer. So I'm just adding two of them. So that is now. Once that done, we have to just add the colon and just press the enter key. 
and now what we have to do is we have to replace the fragment so fragment equal to new fragment one we have initialized the fragment as null which is nothing so we just replace it the fragment with the fragment one that is the activity name for the fragment one so when the item when the navigation one is selected it is going to replace the fragment with the fragment one and now we have to break that in order to add the second case so case then dot id then now and the same as that what we have done at the top then fragment two now break it okay so we have added the fragment and corresponding to that the new fragment which is which is to be opened now everything is okay and we just have to check some of the problems so fra if fragment not equal to so if you just put the exclamation mark along with the equal to then it means the fragment is not so like this fragment is not null so if the fragment is not null that means any of the item inside the navigation drawer is selected so that the fragment is not equal to null now the fragment has something inside that so that it have to just show the corresponding layout file and the activity file so all we have to do is we have to just create a tra fragment transaction and i just want to name it as frag t or something like ft then equal to then get support fragment manager then dot get begin transaction okay so begin transaction so what i'm going to do is that if a item is changer and if the value of the fragment is not equal to null or if the item is selected from the fragment then it is going to just show that transaction and the transaction is going to going to replace the item inside the fragment and uh, all we have to do is simply add semicolon to close that now we have to just add ft that we have given the transaction variable name and we have to replace the existing item so out.idio.myframe layout so this is going to replace the myframe layout with the selected navigation drawer item which is maybe frag one or frag two so we have to replace it with the frag fragment okay now and then third we have to commit that which means just apply that changes okay now what we have done is we just created the uh, if question which says that if the fragment is not equal to null which means any of the item is selected so that it can it have to just show that we just added some of the lines that can replace the my frame layout and change it with the fragment which is going to be this or this okay so finally we just applied the changes and now what we have to do is once the item from the navigation drawer is selected we just have to uh, just close the navigation drawer and just show that fragment itself so that we just have to just copy this line so while creating a navigation drawer activity the android studio automatically generate these lines which can help full to close the navigation drawer we just copy up to this adding it here okay so once that done we just close it and now what we have to do is just go up and there uh, well, right now, when we are running this app in a loud device, we can see that it is going to work perfect. But uh, at the start, at the startup, there will be no any fragment is automatically selected, and that because currently the current main .xml is going to display something like this, and actually the fragment is not selected inside this frame layout by default so when you're running the app in your live device you can only see a blank screen like this so if you want to add a fragment by default and uh, you just want to display a fragment when you're opening the app then you will have to just add something inside this one create method so we know that the one create method is going to run when the application is just turned on so we have to replace the fragment with a specific fragment when it's turn when it's turning on so all we have to do is simply get the method that we just created so we have created a method with the with the name display fragment so we are going to add the display fragment inside here so display fragment and now what we have to do is we have to add the id 
that is going to be the id from the navigation drawer we have one navigation one and navigation two and uh, maybe navigation one is i just want to give the navigation one as the default when the app is just turned on okay so finally all we have to do is we can see here is a automatically generated method that is one navigation item selector so this is going to be a problem for us because we just created the same almost same thing inside this display fragment method so we have to remove all the lines inside this so that it can't do anything to our method our newly created method so we're just going to remove everything up to the return so we will be keeping the return because it's a boolean method so that it will be returning some values so what we are going to do inside this is that we have to enter the create newly created method name that is display fragment and get the menu from here so that is item then item dot get item id so this is actually going to replace this method with our newly created method okay so yeah that's it so now let's give a try this app in our android device okay guys so we have the android app in the android device and everything is okay so we have the frag one as the default activity when we are turning the app on we have the one here on the center of the screen now let's try the navigation drawer and just swiping from left to right to get the navigation drawer and here it is and uh, you can see the one is actually selected right now so i'm going to select that two and you can see the navigation drawer is automatically closer and also we have the fragment two right now on the screen so that's it hope you guys got something from this tutorial and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and maybe in the next video i will be explaining how you can able to just add item inside the fragment and its activity file and how you can able to just customize a fragment and something like that so yeah thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video